Hi everyone, I'm Dee. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collab with my friend on YouTube, Jasmine. I will link her channel up here for you guys to take a look at. And we are going to be doing bold fall looks for you. I am going to be doing a bold lip, obviously, and she's going to be taking care of the bold eye look for you. All these looks are great to wear in the fall, and we were really excited to do this video to sort of ring in the fall makeup. So if you want to see how to get this bold lip look that I feel like you can wear for every day or during the night, keep watching to see how I did it. All right, so I've already done my foundation and concealer and set everything with powder. The key to a bold lip look starts with your foundation. A bold lip can magnify any redness you have anywhere on your skin. For some reason, if you have a bold lip on, if you've got a zit way up here, it is going to be showing through. And I prefer to go with a satin or a matte finish foundation when I'm doing a bold lip just because I don't want my skin to be shining everywhere and competing with the lip and everything. So what I used was the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I went in with my Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser, the brightener and the light shade under my eyes as usual, covered up any imperfections with the Hard Candy Glamouflage. Then I set everything with a powder foundation as a setting powder just to give me a little bit of extra coverage and mattify everything. So I used my Bare Minerals Well Rested under the eyes and my Bare Minerals Matte in the light shade, I think, all over my face as a setting powder. So now that that's done, I've got a clean matte a uh, little bit heavier coverage canvas to go to work on. So, normally when I'm doing my face, this is the point at which I will do my blush. But, when I'm doing a bold lip, I will save the blush and bronzer till the end because you don't want to go overboard and have yourself looking like a clown. So, instead of blush, I'm just going to go ahead and use some lip balm because I want my lips to be conditioned and ready for that lipstick when I get to it. So, now I'm going to do my eyes because even though you don't want the eyes to compete with the lips, you do have to add a little bit of definition up there so your face looks balanced. The number one thing you need to do is fill in your brows. Today I'm using the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in Bare My Soul, and that is how I'm going to fill in my brows, just that and this e.l.f. angled brush. And I'm just going to fill in the arch area first because that's where I want the most color. And then I could fill in any other sparse areas as I go along. Now I'm not making my brows any thicker or really bold or anything. Um, I'm just filling them in so they add a little balance to my face when I put that bold lip on. So when you're wearing a bold lip, first two tips, perfectly clean matte canvas on your face and fill in your brows and that will take you 75% of the way to having that bold lip look good. Next thing I want to do is add a little bit of definition to the eyes with eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this NYX Love in Paris palette in Parisian Chic. I love this palette because, first of all, the clasp is a bow. Let's talk about that for a second. How cute is that little bow? Anyway, so you open it and it's got a nice, woo, it's got a sponge tip applicator which I will never use. It's got a nice mix of matte and shimmer shades as well as warm and cool toned brown shades. So you can pretty much do any neutral look with this which I love. So what I'm going to do on the lid is use this shimmery sort of pinky brown tan shade right there. Pat that all over the lid area and this is just going to add a little bit of shimmer up there without adding too much color. This is really close to my skin tone so if you are lighter than me go with something a little lighter than this and if you are darker than me obviously go with something a little darker just anything that's close to your skin tone and a little bit shimmery. Next with a fluffy blending brush this is the elf blending brush I don't want anything too precise or too stiff for this because I really want this crease color to be blown out so I'm gonna use this taupey shade right up here in the corner this is a matte shade it reminds me a lot of Naked 2 um, from Urban Decay. When I get to the outer corner, I'm just going to be flicking that color out toward the outer part of my eyebrow. I'm not putting any more color on the brush, just flicking it out in that direction to give the eyes a little lift on the outer corners. And very last thing with the eyeshadow is going to be the highlight. Of course, I'm going to be using this creamy light shade right here. This is matte as well, which is great for this look because like I said, you don't want the eyes to be blinging too bad uh, and competing with that bold lip. So just 
I'm putting that in the tear duct area. I'm actually gonna be leaving my brows alone for the moment and I'll show you why later in the tutorial. For a bold lip look, I love a liquid eyeliner. I just think it looks really classic to have a little bit of a flicked eyeliner and a big bold lip, but if you are not comfortable using or wearing liquid eyeliner, a smudgy charcoal or black line of liner above the eyelid will look great. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my liquid liner and I will be right back. All right, and now I'm just adding my second coat of mascara and then we can move on to the lips, the super fun part. We can move on to the lips. And at this point, you could add any bold lip color that you like, something bright, something really, really vampy, a classic red, any bold lip that you want will go with this look right here. Today I'm going to be using the CoverGirl lipstick in Smitten. And this is a really deep berry color that you can still wear for every day if you like. I would normally apply this straight from the bullet, but for this look, I want a really, really precise application. So I'm gonna take a lip brush, just swipe it on the end there, and apply it to my lips in thin layers. Okay. So now that I've got the first thin layer on with the lip brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it straight from the tube. the lip brush again to just make sure you get a really smooth application on the edges there if you haven't used lip liner which I have not because I don't like lip liner if you're wearing this look for every day this is where you're gonna want to skip ahead and put your blush and bronzer on but I'm going to show you the whole shebang and what I would do if I was wearing a look like this out at night so the reason I kept my brow bone clean before when I was doing my eyes is this next step I'm going to take the hard candy glamouflage dab a little bit on the back of my hand and take a concealer brush and really define a couple of my features. First, eyebrows. I'm gonna go straight under my, the line of my eyebrow right there and really define that lower edge right there. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and blend that out so it doesn't look like a crazy line under my eyebrow. And if you want, you can do that to the top as well. And now this is the other reason I can get away with not using lip liner. I'm gonna do the same thing around the edges of my lips just to clean up that edge and really make the lip area pop. It really helps to clean up that line and make it really sharp. So I'm gonna basically be using it on the very outer edge of my lips. And then using the brush, I'm gonna blend it down like that. Be careful not to drag any of that lipstick out further. So that is it for the lips, and now I can move on to blush and bronzer. I don't want to do anything too crazy because I want the lips to be the focus. So I'm just going to go in with, you know what, I don't even think I'm using blush today. Go figure. So I'm going to take an angled blush brush though and take my NYC Sunny bronzer and just apply that like I would apply a really contoured blush, kind of under the cheekbones and up onto them. And up into the temples a little bit for contour there and you don't want to you know I don't smile or suck in my cheeks when I'm doing something like a contour or blush because when you move your face around to apply cheek products your skin is never in the same place when you relax your face so I prefer to apply my makeup on my cheeks while my face is relaxed because that's where it's gonna end up when your skin is back to normal so I prefer not to tighten my facial skin in any way by pulling on it or making weird faces while I'm doing this. And lastly, I'm going to use some highlighter. I'm going to go in with my Hard Candy Bronzer in Tiki. This is really just a highlighter. It's, I don't know who this would be bronzer for. Maybe someone like really, really pale. Um, but it's not bronzer for me. It's highlighter for me. Now, if you're happy with how this looks, you're done. You can go out just like this. I like to take a big step back in the mirror 
take one last look at the whole package and see if there's anything weird popping out at me. Right now, I noticed that my under eye area, and I don't know if this is coming off on camera, but I noticed that my under eye area looks a little darker than when I first put on my concealer. And that could be because the concealer has faded or it could be because now that the bold lip is on, discoloration on the rest of my face is showing a little more. So I'm gonna go back in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and just pat that on my under eye area a little bit. Blend that in with my finger. And that's it guys, we are done with this. Every day, day to night, bold lip look. Be sure to check out Jasmine's video. She's going to be doing the bold eye look, like I mentioned before. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. She has a great channel, so definitely go check her out, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of your subscriptions, your comments, and all of your views. Thank you again. I will talk to you soon. Bye.